I'm asking you again, why aren't you accepting Islam? Main reason because I just I've seen so many too much violence in Islam. Too much of violence. Too much violence in, 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 the, in, the, in the hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, hang on. You see, if you want to see, no, I, I don't, and I don't accept. Oh yeah, that might be corrupted. Yeah. Wait, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. I'm not going to go down that route. The fact that you have no standard for truth, so you can't, you can't teach me about morality. I'm sorry to say. I would understand if a, if, a, if a Christian come or if a Jew come, right? But when an atheist or, or people like you come to me and ask me, oh, killing is wrong, love that, I'll ask you, why is killing wrong? And you can't even give me good reason. You have no moral anchor. No, you don't. You don't have moral because, anchor. Because, because, because love, love is the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the main purpose of which is spreading love. Amongst mankind is the main is the main purpose of God. Yeah. So so uh, my form of love could be, you know, I love killing people. Okay. There you go. You have no moral anchor. It's not love, is it? Huh? Just because you love doing it. Oh, no, no, no. It. For you me, might love doing it, I love. You might love doing it. For you, no, 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 it's there's not. A there's a difference between loving to loving to do something, a good feeling. Again, again, it all goes back to the point that we were making. Your foundation is weak. You have to. And and by the way. Do you believe that you're born free? Yeah. You're born free. Did you choose? Did you choose to look like yourself? No. So you're not born free. So you do submit to something, and this is the difference. We submit to the Creator. You submit to your desires. No. When I say we're born free, I don't mean I don't mean I just stop, I can do what I want. So would you, so why? I mean, okay, good. I mean, good. I believe we're free in terms of God has made us. With the uh, with the with his truth and joy mm. to know him, and mm. that gives freedom. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. So my question is, why don't you submit to the guidance that the Creator gave to you, which is the Quran, the final revelation, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger of God. Why don't you submit? You you believe? Uh, uh, what's your okay? If you want to show love to God, wouldn't you follow what God told you? I, I worship God. Huh? I worship God. How do you know the way how he worships it please it pleases him? How do you know that? For example, for example, if you if you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift based on what you love or based on what she loves? What she loves. What she loves. Why? Because you want to please her and to, to be able to please her, you should know what she loves, correct? So similarly, we should worship the God how He wants, not the way how we feel. So I'm asking you, how do you know you're pleasing the Creator? Pleasing the cre to please the Creator, we need to sacrifice our own ego. And do it. we need to sacrifice our own ego. Yeah. And and follow with a with follow and worship him with a sincere heart. Are you worshiping? But my question to you is, you where's your guidance? You, you, should, you, should, you should sacrifice your heart to God. As the, as the Bible says, I, 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 like I said, I don't follow everything in the Bible, but some things I do agree with. So why don't you... See, see so my question is, if the, if the scripture is corrupted, then how do you know which part is true or not? Whereas you have the Quran, it's not corrupted. I'm sure if I had done a lot of research, I could find corruption. Okay, fine. We've sure already discussed this last week. I'm sure I could. We've already discussed this last week. The preservation of the Quran is not disputed. You said, you said, I doubt, listen to this. He said, I doubt that someone memorized the whole Quran. Are you for real? I could bring you a six year old kid, a ten year old kid. You know, Brother Siraj? Alhamdulillah. You know, Brother Siraj? You know, Brother Siraj? He's a Hafiz. He will recite to you the Quran. Memorize over nine to ten million people. The problem is, the problem is, we can't, as a non-Muslim who doesn't speak Arabic, we can't witness that you're telling the truth, what you're saying. Okay. Unless we can witness what you're saying. Okay. Unless we can witness what you're saying. Do we do experience? No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Unless we can witness what you're saying. Right. Then what you're what you're saying is invalid. Okay. Last week, did I do a little experiment with you? Do you remember? See, you don't remember. Remind me, God. Didn't I test? I recited a 78th chapter of the Quran, which is called Surah Naba, right? Yeah, okay. And I recited, and there were brothers who knew about the surah. They memorized the surah. I made a mistake, they corrected me. 
Now, now, there's something called tawatur, mutawatir, multiply attested, meaning that it is impossible for all of them to lie. For example, in Speaker's Corner, if, if people are saying there's a fight outside Speaker's Corner, right, if there's 20 people, yeah, even though we never met each other, we don't know each other, it's impossible for everyone to conspire to lie. This is how the Quran is preserved. And by the way, this whole thing about the Quran, the written Quran needs to be preserved. We don't need this. It's a bonus, but the primary transmission of the Quran is oral. And Allah promises, that we have indeed made the Quran easy for remembrance, easy for understanding. Listen, so if, who if, shall if, take admission? If the, Quran, if the Quran, Quran was really remembered, then explain the surah, uh, uh, explain why Bukhari says that let us let no Muslim say we have all of the Quran. Let us rather say what we have left, we have what is left of the Quran. Okay, do you have, uh, this is from Imam Suyuti. You know who Imam Suyuti? This is about abrogated verses. And you do know about abrogation? Yeah. Yeah. So this so therefore he's saying that don't say you know everything because there are some verses that are abrogated. No, but the, what I was reading was what I was reading was You, you didn't even give me the reference. I did my I did my well, research. But that, that story in yeah. Bukhari is, is speaking specifically about uh, about during uh, something happened and then and then it says much of the Quran was lost. No, in the context of abrogation. No. And it doesn't say lost. It doesn't say lost. It's a mistranslation. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You provide evidence. I've done my research. It's from, it, uh, sorry, it's from Itqan, Kitab Itqan, written by Imam Suyuti. This is referring to the abrogated verses. This is not if, about if the. This was, is not about the. This abrogated by God. It, it wouldn't say a bunch of Okay, what is abrogation? Do you know that? Just change it. No, it's not. Do you know, in, in Islam, we believe that there are verses that have been abrogated. Allah says in the Quran that never do we replace a verse unless it's something similar to it or better than it. So we believe in Nasr, yeah? There's abrogation, right? And there's four different, uh, there's, question, there's four different types could, of abrogation. Could, so my one, question is, how, what, second, how, on, can, how could one part of God's word be better than another part of God's word? All of it is the same. It doesn't say that. What I'm saying to you is, you know that part you mentioned about much of the Quran is lost? First of all, it doesn't say that. It says, do you not claim that you know the whole Quran? That's what it says. And if you look at the, the, the chapter, the heading, it says it refers to abrogated verses. So you misconstrued, and you couldn't even give me the details. And, he, and last week I did my research, and I'm giving you evidence. Okay. Secondly, secondly, you know what? Let's do a little experiment again, right? Who's a, who, who knows? Um, who knows? Which surah should we do? Surah Fatiha. Everyone knows Surah Fatiha, right? Let's do a little experiment, right? Do I know you? Are you Muslim? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. You recite Surah Fatiha, right? Do we know each other? Is it possible to conspire lie? Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين Now I didn't even meet with him How is it possible How is it possible that we could conspire and lie How is it possible This is called متواتر this is preserved. Go to, look, Ramadan is starting in three weeks' time. Hold on. Let me just say one thing, yeah? No. You've got five Christians, yeah? Why are you supposed to say Maliki or Madin? Yeah. Okay. You missed out. Yeah. Let me just say one thing, yeah? No, I know it's that. I remember that sort of. Christopher. Yeah. Christopher. You're not ignorant about it. You know Islam is true. I know that. I, I know deep down you know Islam Christopher. is the truth. You've got five Christians that say they make they memorize the Bible, yeah? And get five Muslims that say they memorize the Bible. I mean the, the Quran, sorry. Yeah. Throw all the Qurans in the river. Yeah. Throw all the Bibles yeah, in the river. Yeah, exactly. Them five brothers, yeah, Muslims, will bring that Quran back. Every verse, they'll all agree on every verse. Yeah, no argument. Yeah. The five Christians wouldn't. They'll say, no, Mark said this. Exactly. No, say Solomon said this. No, David said this. I follow the, the, the Old Testament, the New Testament. The book's gone, bro. So what then? And you know what? And you know what's also well, amazing? Maybe we yeah. should put it to the test one day. And you know what's also it's amazing? Wait, wait, wait. Go, go to YouTube. Mauritania. I tell you what, I, 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 wait, my, my, I tell you what, my, my, now my dream is, my hope is, yeah. that I keep a copy of the Quran I've got, and I see every single other Quran in the world destroyed. Someone claim to bring it back, and then I'll when, when they when they when they do that, I'll say. Oh, look, Any hafiz will bring it back. Any hafiz will bring it back Any within hafiz. within a minute, within 24 hours. Any it's hafiz. memorized. Any hafiz, bro. It's impossible. Look, 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 look. Me and you, yeah. Do we know each other? How do I know I trust you? I don't know. But the fact that we memorize each other, we memorize the verse. 
it's impossible for us to conspire live. And there are millions of people that recite Surah Fatiha because this is the this is the essence of the Quran. Without reciting Surah Fatiha, we, we pray five times a day. Your prayer is invalid. So how is it possible that we all lie? It's impossible. And we even have the chain in the rate which is called Ijaza. Yeah, Ijaza is like a teaching license which the chain of narration goes all the way back to the Prophet peace be upon him. And if you go to Mauritania, a country, Mauritania, they don't even have written script. This is all for memorization.